Well, this week, Vice President Mike Pence spent two nights at one of President Donald Trump's golf resorts in Dunebeg, Ireland. Pence's chief of staff said that he thought the stay was at the president's suggestion. Then Trump denied having any part in the decision. But this is rekindling a longtime debate about whether Trump is violating the Constitution's emoluments clauses. In this case, taxpayers were footing the bill for Pence staying at Trump's hotel, even though it was more than an hour flight from Dublin, where the VP had his meetings. And so, of course, it makes sense for us to bring in Danny Savalas with the legal perspective. Danny, what does the Constitution say? And it almost seems silly that we're talking about how hell stays in relation to the Constitution, but what does the Constitution say about this? The framers of the Constitution were almost obsessed with the notion of corruption. They wanted to avoid it at all costs. Look no further than mm -hmm. the impeachment clause, mm -hmm. that the two mentioned exemplary impeachable offenses are not murder, they're not crimes of violence, they're not even really crimes of theft. They are crimes of corruption, treason, and bribery. And so, too, was this was the reason they put in the emoluments clauses. Right. And there are two. There's a foreign and a domestic emoluments clause. Basically, the foreign emoluments clause is about the president not receiving any benefits from any foreign country in addition to his salary. The domestic emoluments clause is similar. The president has a salary. He shouldn't receive any gifts or any additional payments from either the individual states mm -hmm or the federal government. Now, in this case, in Ireland, mm -hmm. it seems at first blush to be a foreign uh, emoluments clause issue, but in fact, it's closer to a domestic emoluments clause issue because okay. the payment for Pence is not coming from a foreign government. Right. It's coming from the federal government. And everything, you know, there's already plenty of litigation going on about the emoluments clause in different federal courts around the country. The issue is still unsettled. It, it's amazing to think most of us didn't even know what an emolument was. Yeah two or three years ago because it's an outdated, antiquated word. Now it's being heavily litigated and much will turn on how in the modern era we define what an emolument is. An expansive view is that if President Trump receives any benefit, even with his hotel in between, then he's violated the emoluments clause. That is an emolument. On the other hand, mm -hmm. a restrictive view is that an emolument is only for personal services personally rendered. So if, and it's a ridiculous example, President Trump was at the hotel in Ireland uh, doing uh, bed service or bringing up room service or turning down the sheets, that would be something he was being paid for uh, if he was paid okay. directly. So Pence's defense here, Let's go through that. And would it hold up in in court, for example? I know that that would unlikely uh, happen. But if this were to go to court, would his defense here, would it hold? Well, the key to the emoluments clause is arguing that emoluments don't happen, or at least in such a way that the Constitution is violated when a hotel is paid that a president happens to own. Maybe you make an analogy that if Jimmy Carter, who arguably divested, so it's a different situation, right. he had a peanut farm, and if mm -hmm. you paid money, if the federal government paid money to that peanut farm, and somewhere it trickled down to Jimmy Carter, then that doesn't count as an emolument. But it really hinges on how you define an emolument. And academics on both sides disagree on this issue. Another okay. major argument in the emoluments world is whether or not there's even standing. There may be this emoluments clause in the Constitution, but does it even have a remedy? Can any of us even bring suit to enforce it? Danny, it's fascinating stuff. Uh, thank you so much for explaining emoluments. I know it's something that we kind of have trouble wrapping our brains around. It is. Thank you for making it a little clearer for us. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.